What up everyone, how's your afternoon going? Bitcoin's currently sitting at $62,532. Definitely not a bad spot for it to be sitting right now. Um, I'm kind of curious if it's going to trade, just trade sideways for the month of May. But as you guys know, if there's any bad news, we could definitely see some downturn. But we'll just wait and see how that plays out. Um, yeah, we have a new CPU mineable coin for you guys. Uh, not CPU, GPU mineable coin for you guys. Xenix, I'm going to show you guys how to get it set up in Windows and HiveOS. All that fun stuff. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep making videos for you guys. Because, you know, not enough likes, not enough comments, no reason to make the videos. So, go ahead, do those things. Um, also, if you guys have noticed, Nexa is on the top for a couple coins. I hear potentially through the crypto grapevine next to maybe getting a decent exchange listing so i mean definitely do do your own research this is not financial advice but i mean buy some nexa it goes up a little bit sell nexa tomorrow or whenever the exchange listing i haven't done that much research into it yet but it's definitely on my radar for the things to do today but back to xenix uh xenix chain and let's go Okay, so Xenix Chain, uh, new GPU mineable coin. Xenix Chain symbol is XNXI, two minute block time. Uh, block board is 500 with a max supply of 1.23 billion. Zero pre mine, it is a proof of work, kapow, all that fun stuff. Um, so. I'm not actually quite sure what the project actually does make GPU mining great again. We aim to revitalize GPU mining by enhancing its accessibility, efficiency, and profitability. This primary goal supported by our commitment to the network growth, fairness, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's definitely interesting seeing as how they picked a Kapow. So, uh, efficiency and accessibility, meh. But who knows? This project could be the one that pops off and does all the things we want it to do. Because Ravencoin has been popping off. But yeah. So you're going to want to go ahead and get your wallet. Make sure you download download your wallet in a safe. Oh, there it is. Download your wallet somewhere safe. Whether it be in a VM. All that stuff. Just make sure it's safe. Don't want to compromise your computer. Because you never know what, what could be hanging out in any of these wallets. You're going to download that. Extract it into the folder. Go ahead. Get your wallet address. Once you have your wallet address. You're going to come over and look for pools. For pools, we have two options as of the last time I checked. Um, there's the official Xenix chain pool, which you can mine to. Also, there's an, another pool, some guy mining pool. This pool also has the project listed. I do have a couple cards on it. Um, this is the one I'm going to show you guys on how to mine today. So we're going to come over here. And because this is a Kapow, most of your normal miners will work today. I'm going to be using... Um, Team Red Miner for AMD cards in Hive OS and using T Rex Miner for Windows. So you'll come over here, get your stratum. If you've seen any of my videos before, super simple, super easy to set up. Find something that's also Kapow, just hit edit. Oop, not edit. You're going to hit copy, paste it, go ahead, rename it. We'll call this one test. Come over here, hit edit. Um, the stratum you copy from right over here. I just go with this one at the bottom. You just hit copy on that. Come over, paste it over the stratum. Go ahead, do your wallet address right here. Dot whatever work you want. And you're gonna go ahead, file save before you hit run. Uh, most important thing you're going to want to do with this project is go ahead comment down below what's your spec mining plans and hit that uh, subscribe button because you know help the channel i get more subscribers more comments you guys get more content that's how it works let's do that okay so for you hive os people just as easy you're going to come over to your hive os go into your farm as you guys can see i have a couple cards on it uh we'll come over to our wallets add wallet Call it XNXI or Xenix or whatever. Go ahead, type in your coin ticker. You're going to hit the custom one. Meh. Yeah. Hit create 
do all that. Go ahead, paste your address, name it, GUI or whatever. Then you're going to hit create. Come over to flight sheets, um, coin, Xenix, whatever wallet, configure pull in miner per miner because I have AMD cards. I'm going to use Team Red Miner, but pretty much the same thing goes if you're using NVIDIA cards with something like T Rex Miner, LOL Miner, all the same things. For Algo, we're going to do Kapow, do worker.wallet, pull URL is going to be the one we copied earlier from some guy mining pool. I'll have all this link down below in the descriptions. Also check out the links down, but uh, down there, they'll make you some money. They'll make me some money. Oh yeah. Also check out my other video on consensus network. It's a Car Carlson coin. Um, Carlson chain coin, you know, check it out. Uh, where is my, there it is. Nope. There it is. Okay. Back to this. So you paste in your pull URL. Don't need anything for that and you're pretty much all set to go. You're gonna hit apply changes. Don't forget to name your flight sheet and then create flight sheet. You're all good to go. Um, I haven't had any issues with this pool. It does take about two hours for blocks to confirm. So definitely keep that in mind when you go to set up and start mining it. Um, yeah, it's a Kapow coin. Those tend to list not terrible, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the links down below. They'll make you some money. They'll make me some money. You guys have a nice day. Actually, before that, go check out other videos on my channel. Oh, that much closer to get monetized, but my watch hours are hardcore lacking. If I can't get monetized, can't make videos. You know, go ahead, do that thing. Peace out.